When Stephen got to the castle, Spencer was very surprised to see him. My, my, Stephen, that was quick. You really are the afternoon tea express. You see, Spencer, I can be speedy. I'm still the rocket! Pew! Each week after that, when Stephen collected the scones and the cream, he got one of the engines to push him. One day he was pushed by Thomas. The next day he was pushed by James. And another day he was pushed by Emily. <laughs> Stephen always got the cream and scones to the castle on time. Everybody called him the Rocket again. One day, the Earl had a very special job for him. Sir Topham Hatt and Lady Hatt are coming for afternoon tea at the castle today. But we are out of jam. So I need you to collect some more jam from the docks for me. Yes, sir. I'll be back in no time. <laughs> Stephen puffed as fast as he could. And he collected his truck from the docks. It was filled with lots of barrels of jam. There was strawberry, raspberry, and even apricot jam. But when Stephen puffed back towards the castle, he couldn't find anyone to push him. Oh, no! This is where I normally see Gordon. And this is where I normally find Thomas. What am I going to do? <laughs> the castle was still a long way away. And it would take Stephen a very long time to get there. Oh, no! It'll be dark by the time I get the jam to the castle. But then Stephen found Spencer. What are you doing here? I thought you were the rocket. Sir Topham Hatt and Lady Hatt are waiting at the castle for their afternoon tea. Stephen had an idea. Uh, maybe you could push me to the castle, Spencer. Oh, I'm far too busy to push an old bucket of bolts like you around. Stephen was very old and very wise. That's why he knew exactly what to say to Spencer. <laughs> 